Hi, welcome to Visual Basic tutorial of how to prevent an empty text box on a project. Okay, if I click on total, there's, there we go. You can see the cursor there is flashing. Let's say we enter value in there and click on that. It's telling me there's no tags in there. And here, let's say the tags is about, or the subtotal is that. And total, let's say the total is said the total is 228 there we go okay because you can see there's no more flashing let's delete that and see what's going to happen i'm going to cursor here click you see that guys you see it's flashing right there that it's empty so what i'm going to do now is to take you straight into visual basic development environment and we'll put one of these together so let's do that now guys Hi and welcome to Bishop Basic Tutorial of how to prevent an empty text box on a project. So let me start by clicking on create new project right there. Okay, let's give the project a name. I'm just going to call it VB underscore empty text. click on save there my form is ready now I'm going to change the color of the back background let's go for dark green there we go now the next thing I intend to do is just to add a panel put out one single panel there and this very panel, I'm going to change the color to a set of full ivory. There we go. That's how I want my interface to look like. The next thing I want to do is just to draw a couple of labels and and text box. So let's look for text box and labels. So the whole idea of this project is how to prevent an empty text box is actually at a request of one of my viewers so let me just populate this interface then i'll get back to you guys shortly okay this is how the interface looks like now and i've also added some buttons okay now to achieve what we set out to do to pre preventing the end user from entering no values onto any of these text box so i'm going to click on total and we enter so we enter the following lines of codes so right in the total let me start by declaring as follows let's say dim txt as control so that will represent all of the controls on board the, the txt okay so i would then say using a follow for each txt in panel because i do have a panel on board so i'm gonna have to call that is panel one okay if you guys can still recall i added the panel and that is it right here the panel okay look at the properties panel one if there's no panel you don't have to include panel so panel dot controls There we go. There. So I will now use an if statement to check if there's anything in there. If type of txt is a text box and that text box if it's empty. So that will be the next condition. Then we use another if statement. If txe dot text equals empty then this is what I want the system to do I want it to set focus dot focus and that is all there is to it look at that so if we dare leave any of those text box empty this is what's going to happen okay let's see how it works now so i'm not going to enter anything there there you can see the cursor is flashing there let's assume we add 
reference number and there's no name you see that and the name happens to be Sami okay let's enter surname there and is Goodman Sami Goodman address of Goodman is number 12 let's say okay the postcode okay let's just you see that will happen so let's assume we enter postcode there all right so date of birth i'm just going to sort of like speed it all up and you guys see what i'm talking about all right guys i've entered data into most of the text box so let's say I click on total you see it's telling me i haven't entered data in there so let's assume we enter zero click on it again and so on so my friend just like you requested how to prevent an empty text box in visual basic this is how it's done so i'm just going to show you the i'll show you the codes one more time then i'll call it the end of this tutorial and that is it guys okay so i'm going to show you the code one more time there we go and that is the line of code that you just need to enter into your or onto your program so with that my friend i'm going to call it the end of this short tutorial you have a nice day i hope i've been able to answer your or help with your request bye for now